This is the man at the center of Republican attempts to discredit the investigation into potential collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia. FBI agent Peter Strzok. He led the investigations into Hillary Clinton's email and potential Russian collusion with the Trump campaign. And it is the text messages that he sent during that time that have led some Republicans to claim the Trump investigation is rigged. And you got another text from your uh, colleague, Lisa Page. Trump's not ever going to become president, right? Right? And you replied, no. No, he's not. We'll stop it. That was written late at night, off the cuff, and it was in response to a series of events that included then-candidate Trump insulting the immigrant family of a fallen war hero. And my presumption, based on that horrible, disgusting behavior, that the American population would not elect somebody demonstrating that behavior to be president of the United States. His text was to Lisa Page, an FBI attorney who struck was allegedly having an affair with, and one Republican congressman went there. And I can't help but wonder, when I see you looking there with a little smirk, how many times did you look so innocent into your wife's eye and lie to her about uh, Lisa? Mr. Oh, Chairman, this is outrageous. The credibility of a witness Shame is always on you. an Chairman. issue. Mr. You Chairman, please. Have have you Mr. Know. Chairman, this is an intolerable Sorry. harassment what of the witness. What is wrong with that? You need your medication. This is not normal. Not how things usually work in Congress. You've been out of control since you've been on this committee. Why don't you leave it alone? This is not Benghazi. The reason my Republican colleagues will not let you answer a question is because they're not interested in your answers. This is about promoting a narrative. You are being, you're a prop so they can promote a narrative in an ongoing effort to distract from the serious investigation of the special counsel that is closing in on the Trump inner circle. For his part, Strzok testified that he didn't like Trump, but it didn't impact the investigation. In the summer of 2016, I was one of a handful of people who knew the details of Russian, ele Russian election interference and its possible connections with members of the Trump campaign. This information had the potential to derail and quite possibly defeat Mr. Trump, but the thought of expressing that or exposing that information never crossed my mind. You're asking us to believe that. that didn't stop Republicans from spending hours trying to discredit him and the Russian investigation as the hearing often broke down into partisan yelling matches. Not this, to answer the, the gentlewoman question. will suspend. A sign of where things stand now. Are you just going to make up rules as we go along? Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.